Welcome to another episode of the Balance of Opinion Sports Podcast with your guy, Key Crush Glass, the host with the most man with the plant, Yawa, and Manila. Yo, it's your boy, Naivinci, star of the eagle, feed the soul. And one of our new co-hosts, Mr. Sly. So, yo, 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 what up? Buffalo. Hey! Hey, I, we here. But hold on, though. You're not a Bills fan? I'm a Bills supporter, but I'm a Giants fan at heart, man. <laughs> Dude, Hold you know my Bills saying? down. <laughs> but, um, okay, today we go start it off with some basketball news, okay? We, me and Da Vinci and a few other people had already done a segment on Scottie Pippen, hating on Jordan, calling Phil Jackson racist. And guess what? Today, we got some energy for that joint, okay? So, um... Pippen has come out now and made the claim that having a back injury, a herniated disc, is way more, uh, what, what would be the word for it? Way more harder to play on than a flu game, right? He's come out throwing shots at, at Jordan all day, every day. So first things first, Mr. Sly, give me the defense of uh, Scottie Pippen so I can tear it to shreds. All right, okay. First, first things first, man. Scotty, don't get his just due. That's just at this point, I think that's obvious, man. Scotty, his his whole his he gets his everything about him gets diminished because we put Jordan on the pedestal. I mean, and rightfully so. So I feel I feel Scotty's like little resentment towards MJ. The whole first first and foremost, that whole little that last dance, the last dance was just shitting on everybody, making them look a little bit lesser and making Jordan boosting his legacy up. Who wouldn't be offended by that? Okay. They brought up every day. A lot of that stuff ain't had nothing to do with nothing. They brought up a year when Jordan wasn't even there. Like, he wasn't even there for the year. They brought up the whole situation when Jordan wasn't, when Jordan wasn't, when Jordan retired and, uh, what year was that? I'm going to say 90, 90. Was that the 93? And I think it was the 94. Is it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. But it, Jordan was retired. Like, why are you bringing that up? Scotty's uh, Scotty's bad moment in a documentary that you pretty much make it about yourself. But you want to bring up his his dark spot, like his his bad place and the whole, like, that's just, that's unfair to him. So I feel Scotty's like, you know what? You brought up my dirt, you brought up my skeletons, and let's talk about your skeletons. And I ain't mad at him for that. All right. Uh, Da Vinci, you want to go in before me, or? Um, well, for me is, in the documentary, I don't think Jordan said anything bad about him. I think Jordan always gives Scotty Pippen props when he talks about it. You know, like he said, um, I wouldn't have these things without Scottie Pippen. Um, but, you know, I think this is why it's so great to have another voice here because the way he just put it that um, he puts Scottie Pippen lowest points in the documentary. And I, you know, and I take the L for that. I completely, that completely missed me. That's why Scottie Pippen might be upset because that was something when Jordan wasn't even on the team. That was between Scottie Pippen, Tony Kukoc, and, and all of them. So, you know, uh, thank you for that point, brother. I, I really accepted that one, and I completely missed that one. So. Okay, so first things first. Let me just be completely and utterly honest. Scottie Pippen would not be on the top 50 players if he did not play with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would have been on the top 50 players. Now, Jordan may not have had the six rings, and that's fair to say. But I think people forget he was the rookie of the year. I mean... Jordan, Magic and Bird were running the league, and all of a sudden they started bringing up this guy Michael Jordan, who was one in nine in the finals before Scottie Pippen. So for him to act as if Jordan wouldn't have been a superstar, and that Jordan diminished him, mm, can't rock with that because there's been no evidence that Jordan has ever took a dump on Scottie Pippen. Now the documentary, okay, understand that. But that documentary also made Jordan look bad, too. It made him look like an a-hole. Punching people in the face, berating nah. uh, Scotty Burrell, 
Come on. You you know Nah, but like, that that's true. Yeah, some people were, but really that that all that boosts his legacy up. That just made him show like he was a competitor and he would do anything to win. Like that was all a ploy to boost his legacy up too. To, okay, to so show his, his competitiveness. Mentioning yeah. the Steve incident, mentioning how he had to go and get um uh what's his face? Uh Dennis Rodman off of binging because he was stressed out. I mean, you don't think those was that was a ploy? Those, those was all things that it, it can be looked at that way, but that also that, it just boosts. It's that was done to boost his legacy up too. Like, look at him; he's so competitive. He even fought his own teammates to make him as competitive as him. Like, he's like a that was the whole purpose of that. Like, no, now like, I understand on, how man. some people can look at it that way, but there's always two sides to the story, and then there's the truth. And right? that's a fact. And, and the truth is, Jordan has admitted out of his own mouth. He would not have ring. It's, it's not like he. It's not like he said all the other people. Scottie Pippen individually, he said, without Scottie, there would be no Michael Jordan. So the fact that Scottie acts as if he's not getting enough credit to me is BS. No, no, no. It's not. It, I don't know if it's that, but he feels like. Why did you bring up my my shortcomings in a documentary? Like, what was the what was the purpose? He had no reason to bring up the thing about Scotty's contract. It was no reason to bring up that the game where Scotty didn't want to go back in. It was that stuff didn't have to get those things. They didn't have to touch on. It's like, and damn, you gonna bring up my my skeletons, bro? Like that's shady. I know, the, but the last dance too didn't just ju- document the last season. You notice that. They had a lot of the stuff from the beginning where he was in North Carolina and then going leading mm-hmm. all the way up. So, yes, some people go, oh, you know, why did he talk about the cocaine circus? Well, it was to show the markability that he had coming in. Snitching. Oh, snitching. <laughs> <laughs> we call that dry snitching. Uh... Listen, we, we cannot apply... Street rules and street etiquette to a civilian. That's it a fact. Work like that. That's a fact. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? Okay, it, well, okay. Taxes. You know what? We'll apply it as tattletelling. Then that's there what they used to tell me as kids. Go. He was tattletelling. <laughs> Let them do. They was doing their thing, man. Why? Why you bring that up though? Like you know, I was the only one. I didn't. Dip, I didn't do none of that. I was focused on the game. Those other guys. They was damn, bro. Putting their business out there. Listen, I understand that, but everybody knew who was covering. Anybody that was around them times. I was born in 84, so I seen the last years of Jordan. You know, I had to go mm-hmm. back to YouTube to catch all the other stuff, right? But right, that's same. The thing that, that's the thing that makes his legacy so much better. Like He, yes, at the end of the day, you're right. It made it, it made it seem, but it was, he wanted it at all costs, right? That's a once, fact. Once he tasted that's victory fact, once man. and realized what it was, and people forget this. Jordan would not be Jordan without Phil Jackson. Come on. Phil Jackson's the one that told Jordan, pass the ball. You can't score all the points yourself. There's four guys on the team. Mm-hmm. You got to pass the ball. That's why Paxson has a game-winning shot. Kerr has a game-winning shot. Come on. Do you think he would pass those guys any other time? No, but he understood it. No. <laughs> and it had to be a unit. And, he, you know, um, he couldn't win it all without them. Now, yeah, he'll take the the, the bulk of the, the credit when they win. But he also takes the bulk of the credit when they lose. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, but go ahead, Da Vinci, because I've been cutting yeah. you off, sir. I apologize. True. Um, true. But you listen, when you look at it though, if that's Scotty's reason for being upset, then I completely get it. I um, mean, if it's anything else, I can't rock with it. But it's like as Sly said, if it's why you gotta bring that up. Because if you sit back and you really think about it, it's like this is not Scotty Pippen's documentary. This is Jordan's documentary, right? So if you really take a point and you look at that, then you'd be like, okay, why is he got to bring that up? Um, right. You know, why is that got to be in there? So hey, listen, if I was Scotty Pippen and I'm seeing there that and I'm watching it and it's like, those are my, those are, those are my demons. Why are you putting my, my demons? Right. Up? Right. And so. just think after the documentary, like everybody looked at Scotty negatively, like, that I looked at that that thing made Scotty look selfish because he looked selfish with the whole where he held out for his contract. But I mean, Pete, niggas is holding out for that money. I would if I'm Scotty, I'm doing the same thing regardless. If it's I don't care, I negotiate a bad contract. I'm balling. Pay me. Forget that. 
Okay. I didn't look at it like that. And then it made him look like a sore loser with the Tony Kukoc thing. Like, even if it's true, like, even if it's true, don't get me wrong, because I, I think Scotty was wilding. Don't get me wrong. But that didn't have to be in it, though. We didn't have to highlight those points. Like, th- that stuff had nothing to do with Jordan, which the rest of the documentary was all about Jordan, except the negative things about Horace Grant, negative stuff about Scotty Pippen. Like, come on, dog. Like, nah, it's shady. They talk about, if you want to bring, you want to talk about bringing negative stuff that ain't got nothing to do with the last dance, talk about the Wizards. Why they talk about the Wizards then? Hold on, hold on. Yo, I, I was wondering why the Wizards part wasn't in the documentary. At all. Why was it? Because it was the Bulls. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Nah. But hold on. Let me, let me set the table here for something. Because I almost lost my train of thought. So, in the same sense, you want to say it made Scotty look bad, right? Scotty's the one that was told by the owner not to sign the contract. That's so, true. Remember, Jordan didn't show him in a bad light in the very beginning. Jordan showed his story. He said, this is where he came from. This is how they're looking at him. He came here, so on and so forth, right? Now, he was a sore loser for the whole Ku coach thing. Not to forget, Pippen's been taking shots at Jordan before the documentary dropped. I don't think people realize this. LeBron's better than Jordan. Then he said, you know what I mean? He's flip-flopping. He's supposed to be his teammate. At the end of the day, you're supposed to rock with the man that got you them rings, them chips. That's it. No matter how I kind of agree with that. Okay? Then, okay, the documentary comes up. Scotty's been taking shots at everybody. It's not just Jordan. Who the heck, who on this panel believes Phil Jackson's racist? And please do not bring yeah. up the posse, the posse thing, because you know what? That's an old man term. Remember, Phil yeah. Jackson is like yeah. 70-something. He's living in 1965, bro. He's going to say stupid stuff from time to time. But tell me where where Jordan has ever doo-dooed on Pippen in any way. Or if Phil Jackson is racist. Can somebody tell me? Well, I mean, just, okay, so if you're looking at it from from Scotty's perspective, right? Because I don't think Phil's racist either. Like, I don't don't really agree with that. But Scotty's looking at it like, hold up. I'm the best player on the team, right? I've been with you through everything. And you're going to call a game-winning shot for another dude? Bro, I'm the... I'm the best player on the team. I'm an MVP candidate. I've been with you from day one, and this is my turn because Jordan ain't here. Why would you call a play for this white boy? That's how he's looking at it. Okay. You want to answer it in a venture or you want me to take it? Um, <laughs> I think it was plain and simple. Um, two coach was a better shooter. Facts. See, That's I, what he the was thing is, for. I agree. I he agree with that, that, though. Steve, but Kirk, you got to look at it. They were there for that. It but if you that's not, that's not how Scotty Pippen looks at it, though. That's not how exactly. Scottie at it, if I right? was Scotty Pippen, I would I would look at it like that. Like, hold up, I don't give a fuck who this dude is. I'm the man right now. When Jordan was the man, he took the shots. Now I'm the man. Kukoc's better shooter. I give you that. Granted, but if I'm Scotty Pippen, I don't want to hear that shit. This my well, team I understand. now. But yeah. but that year, Kukoc was I think four for four. And game-winning shots. I think he was sixth man of the year that year, too, or something. Right? So it's like the coach is putting... The same way the coach for their first three championships had to tell Jordan, yo, pass the ball, bro. Stop acting as if you mm-hmm. do this all yourself. You know what I mean? Let Scottie Pippen take the, the, the toughest assignment, get the assist, get the rebound, mm-hmm. put in that work. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's a team sport is a team sport. Everybody has a role. Everybody has a position. So it wasn't Jordan that went out and doodled on this man and made him look some type of way to the public, aside from the documentary. Th- this is all mm-hmm. Scottie Pippen's fault. Marketing? Come on, man. <laughs> you, you really going to blame Jordan for you having bad marketing? Really? I I'm mean, just saying. I, I, and you also got to look at it like this. Scotty is trying to sell a book. Like, and, and he's trying to... Andalus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, Scotty's trying to make him some bread too, but man. That's, that's and slimy. I ain't mad at that either. That's slimy though. You had mm. all this resentment for thirty some odd years. I or, mean, or, or it's oh, years? it is slime. I feel like it goes both ways because I feel like it was slimy how they did Scotty in the documentary too. Like I don't think that was right because everybody was talking about Scotty in a negative light after that documentary. Like, and you don't do that to your man. You don't do that to your man. Like. They could have left. Imagine if they left that out. We wouldn't even be thinking about it. 
Yeah, I didn't remember the contract thing either. I forgot about that contract thing. Hey, listen, a lot of people did. But like I yeah. told you, Scotty was taking shots at him for years. ESPN. Were they shots? Trump. They were kind of shots, though. I think LeBron's about it, better than Jordan. Yeah, Jordan yeah. had to do that. You know, and then he went back on it too and make yeah. it so bad. He, you know what I mean? I call him flip flop top, you know, flip flop. Yeah, that was cool. You know I mean? yeah. so <laughs> and it's not to me like go ahead. Scotty Pippa did with six rings, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty bold Uh-oh. to win six rings with Jordan and go and say, um, LeBron is better than him when you've never yeah, seen Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, that's exactly. pretty bold. Remember, I was looking at him crazy. Back to back twice. The only team to go back to back twice. Or two, sorry, not back to back. Three, three, two, three P. Yeah, that's two, nuts. three P. Not just one, two. That is insane. Two, like, yeah. keep throwing up three That'll never three. happen again. No, no, I don't right? think so. I don't think but, that's not three peats. Three peats don't even happen. They did two of them. That's insane. You know what I'm saying? What was the last three peat? Wasn't it the Lakers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, was it the Lakers? Yeah, I the think yeah. Three yeah, had to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every other team Kobe. either two, you either got a back to back. Or just a single. Mm-hmm. Um, like is there anything you guys want to end off with before we jump on to the next? Yeah, the next one. Video? Okay, just one. One point though, because I'm yeah. not. I ain't the biggest Scotty fan, but I think you, you don't think Scotty might be top fifty without Jordan. You think it's a, any possibility? No. The, the reason no? why the reason why I say that is because he mimicked his game after Jordan. He may not have been prolific offensively with shooting the ball. His IQ was already there before Jordan, but playing with Jordan and playing sure. in that system built both of them up. Jordan was a scorer, but Jordan wasn't as efficient as he was once he got into the triangle, just like Scotty. Do you see what I'm saying? It, it, it boosted both of their games. Scotty and Jordan were both great defenders. Jordan was a relentless killer who shot all day. Scotty Pippen wasn't that. He was... Yeah. Scotty Pippen was LeBron James before LeBron James. But Scotty, you think Scotty was a better jump shot? But Scotty might might be like as far as perimeter defenders, he might be the best ever. No, no, no. But that's what I'm saying, though. That okay, but then you know, you go Pippen or Gary Payton. You um, I got Gary, to be honest. Yeah, okay, you see that? I got yeah, no, 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 hold yeah, on, hold on though. Boy. Remember what you just said, right? Gary's what, like six three, six four? Mm-hmm. Scotty's six nine. Why wouldn't you pick the taller player? Because Gary just was all around. Th- thank he, you, sir. You're making he my can do a little more. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. yeah. But I mean, <laughs> but Scotty probably the, Scotty got Scotty might have been the most versatile. Scotty was guarding one through fours like yep. back in the day. Like Scotty was. I mean, I, he he was one of them elite defender type guys, man. Like I would take Scotty over a Clyde Drexler though. I would probably take well, Scotty I mean, over Clyde. I don't, think, I don't think many people argue with you on that. Though. Yeah, no. yeah. I think it's close, but I would take Scotty over Clyde. Like, Not, I wouldn't take him over GPO. Okay, so I say he's fringe fifty. So I'm not saying yeah. he's completely out of it. I'm I just agree. saying fifty-one. Do I think Scotty Pippen could have been a fifty greatest player of all time? Possibly because he had the talent. And um, would he be a superstar? Yes. Right. Um, did I think playing with Jordan got him a lot of easy opportunity because Jordan draws so much attention? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think Scotty Pippen, I think if Scotty Pippen was being real, he would have tell you that too. He got open a lot because Jordan drew so many attention. But, you know, mm-hmm. um, listen, Scotty Pippen, like you said, it, listen, you put him up with Gary Payton, best defender of all time. It's, it's hard to argue. I mean, yeah, if he gets close. it, I won't complain because those guys are phenomenal. Can, can I ask you one more question before we get yeah. to the next subject? Who else did, did Scottie Pippen ever get Defensive Player of the Year and MVP in the same year? Fuck no! Come on. <laughs> so <laughs> yet again, it's just hate. Ugh, it, yeah. It's one thing if he if if his stats were inflated and they just put this big thing around him to make him look like he was a game changer of the NBA. Aside from Magic and Bird, right? Because those guys are the ones that really brought the league back. He was the new generation that helped the league propel forward. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I gotta, I, I'm gotta. i going to let that go for now, though. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And to all the people out here watching, stay cool, stay frosty, stay in tune with Bob Sports. Y'all have a wonderful day.